forward and always passed it forward and broke the lines of the opposition quickly. Mm-hmm. He was the best at that. At breaking the opposition's line and getting attacking players onto transition, his touch was immaculate. He had the best first touch. All these things were so underrated in his game. Everyone looked at him as this ferocious competitor and box-to-box runner and tackler. That wasn't false, though. That wasn't false, <laughs> but with the ball, he had one of the best first touches and the best pass forward into it the attack and have to break lines of the opposition out they were saying Roy controlled the midfield Scolzi then was the one who got forward and got goals and used his technique higher up the pitch if Scholes was a better passer or was he if he was what made him a better passer than Roy if he wasn't why is his name sacred in terms of an Englishman who could use the ball compared to Roy Help me on that one. Um, I'm not sure actually because I think I think Roy's very underrated in that respect. Scolzi is a master though. Scolzi had a bit of an unbelievable football brain. Scolzi could pass at five yards, ten yards, six. Did he have yards. a bigger range of bigger passing? Bigger range of passing, okay. yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Scolzi's range of passing from five to ten to control in the game to little flicks around the corner and things like that. But I, I still think that Roy's was very, very underrated.